South Africans need access to information in order to be able to fully participate in the democratic processes that so many fought for in ending apartheid now 22 years ago. Yet, corruption is on the rise. In such an environment, it's more important than ever that outlets develop business models capable of sustaining quality journalism in this digital age. Anyone with a smartphone and a social media account can set themselves up as a citizen journalist. In order for quality journalism to thrive, traditional newsrooms must harness the power of the technologies upending their conventional business model. Existing media often hasn't been reaching many, many people. It's often in the old colonial languages only. Uh, newspapers often don't get out of the cities. Uh, broadcasting's often tightly controlled. To tackle the problem, Journalists for Human Rights is launching the Future of Journalism Lab, an exciting pilot program in Johannesburg, South Africa, developed in partnership with University of the Witwatersrand, Ryerson International, and the Brookfield Institute for Innovation and Entrepreneurship. The project is conceived as an incubator or accelerator lab for African media entrepreneurs seeking access to mentorship, partnerships, and funding. In talking with our South African partners, it is evident that the need is great. Newsrooms are struggling like never before. The industry is in turmoil. Our partners in South Africa see this lab as the ideal solution, and so do we. The goal of the Future of Journalism Lab is pretty simple. Create the best possible environment to incubate a new generation of great journalism and media initiatives in South Africa and in fact beyond that in the African continent. Entrepreneurialism and innovative business models um, is something that are, is driving a lot of change uh, generally across the media landscape and we think this is an opportunity to connect those uh, particularly innovative models uh, to these uh, journalists who are practicing their craft, doing the work that is incredibly important uh, to both them and their, and their countries. I would encourage anyone that is looking for a cause to support to consider this strongly because this is a, uh, a project that's been designed not as a moment to help. This is a project that is looking to develop a cohort and, and a growing alumni community of, of journalists that are equipped with the tools uh, to take the practice forward in the long term and to really be a consistent force for change on the continent.